Hello Leo, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 31st through August 7th, 2017. The cards I am using today are uh, Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below, email me and we can set something up. I uh, really appreciate you guys for watching my channel. You guys just don't know. Makes me feel warm inside that people actually listen to me. <laughs> All right, so let's get this show on the road, Leo. What's going on for Leo? Leo love reading August 31st. No, August, July 31st through August 7th, 2017. July 31st through August 7th, 2017. 17 love reading love reading love reading love reading okay that one only want to put over all right so something going on with presents like somebody is either giving presents or receiving presents but it's something going on with gift giving i'm sorry i gotta do something about this light i don't want to turn it off all right okay so basically one of the cards just flipped over it, it was the somebody doesn't want you so i think either for some cases somebody don't want you because you're not giving gifts or somebody only wants you because you're giving gifts it's like sort of the same thing um, or you don't want somebody because they're giving gifts okay mm. All right, so this right here is like somebody is giving gifts, you know, and somebody is, or asking for gifts over and over and over. But it seems like. OK, yeah, you you got more. No, like I feel like somebody that makes more money than you is asking you for gifts and stuff. Hmm, that's weird. All right, so you want this person to open your heart. They ask, You asking them to open their heart, and they asking you to open your pocket. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically both of y'all want something from one another, but I don't know. I guess it's not. Okay, so I think for, for some of you, this might be. Maybe an old relationship that y'all just started over again. Or if it's not an old relationship, it's like, I keep hearing forgiveness. I, so I think it's an old relationship that y'all are trying to rekindle and you might still have feelings for this person, but it's hard for you to open your heart to this person because of something that they did in the past. Okay, um, hopefully y'all can see that. I'm going to try to fix this. I was supposed to fix it before this video. Okay, so, whew, I think this relationship might be just based on sex. I think, yeah, the relationship is about sex. Um, somebody wants the other person to open their heart, but they're... I'm not even sure if they're not going to do it or not. It's just like, I guess when we get to the Cleo card so we can understand more. But I'm seeing now in some cases it might be like a, one of the parents. Like you guys have a child together and the, one of the parents is trying to, you know, come back and rekindle everything. But I feel like the one who has less money that's giving gifts they only want a sexual relationship okay and then i feel like the one with the money wants the person to open their heart yeah i don't know it's weird all right let's see one more for the road okay so yeah it, there is some love here there's some love here but it's like 
every somebody needs to forgive somebody for what they did. Um, maybe in the Cleo cards we'll find that out. Uh, somebody is trying not to look at things for what they are. You know, uh, I think. I mean, I mean everybody's different, so I ain't gonna put my input on what I think about relationships or cheating. You know, but let's just get this Cleo card. All right, what's going on for the Leo? Leo, Leo. What's going on for the Leo? July ooh, 31st through August 7th. Leo. You got stuff flying all over the place. Okay, so somebody pouring out their heart because somebody is not working. Not working. Somebody playing around and not uh, making any money. But they, they want money from you. Like they have the potential to make money, but they're just not doing it. So maybe somebody could be on vacation or something or just like took a leave from work. Yeah, somebody uh, going back to their old ways. Somebody sick of fighting. All right. Leo, July 31st. So, ooh. Ooh. Somebody has come back for revenge. It might be a Libra or something. Somebody either somebody feel like the other person want revenge, or something that was unjust that happened in the past. Okay, this nine of stabs keeps coming out. Let me read that just just to make sure because it came out too many times already. Nine of stabs. What is the nine of stabs? And it was reversed. It says, the result product of lack of planning. Movement will be painful and draining with little time to rest. So basically, ooh, somebody going to pay for what they did. It's like you're not going to get away with whatever you did and come back like nothing happened. You're going to have to make up for all this mess up you did. All right. Mm-hmm. So, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. I don't know. I feel like we need one more card, okay? Straight from the bottom. Oh, yeah. So, somebody must have... I feel like just looking at these cards, somebody went and separated from their partner with an ex. Possibly got them pregnant. And then when they came back together after the separation, um, you see the two of that there uh the one party ended up the the third party ended up pregnant that's what i'm seeing here all right let's read these cards so we got the king of coins reversed uh prisoner to all material things uh and events sneaky premeditated victitious and selfish okay so now we're going to get to see what the, happened in the relationships. We got the three of cups reversed. Three of cups, three of cups, three of cups reversed. It says movement toward final decision, completion. Um, obstacles have been cleared away for quicker movement. Here I feel like this, somebody got rid of this ex, this pregnant ex. And then now they're like, mm, okay, let's make this work again. But, you know, we got the hesitation. Like, I don't know if I should be here. So we got the Empress. It says a time you should a time you may doubt yourself in circumstances. However, new and exciting times are approaching. A time of love, sensuality, and pregnancy may be indicated. So it's like whew, I don't know. I just got the feeling that both of you guys might have been pregnant at the same time or just the third party. You know, but it's just like I don't know. The card's telling you to forgive them right here, but I wouldn't. I'm sorry. So, separation or not, that ain't something that you do. All right, so you got the Nine of Cups, but that's just my opinion. The Nine of Cups says, after much work, you will be rewarded for your efforts. Be careful not to appear both fool and vain. So, it's basically like this person going to take you back. Just don't take that for granted because... uh they can leave just as fast as they came. Came, let you back. All right, so we got the two of staffs. Um, take the time to reflect upon your choices before making a decision. Consider 
where you are and how your past relates. So basically this is saying like, well, you got a choice to go to either one of it. Just make sure you make the set, the right choice because you went back to your exes. You already know that is. But now your present is your ex too. So you know what this relationship is. So it's like you got to make a choice between these two people. So basically choose wisely. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.